Hey guys, welcome to Midwest Whitetail. It's July 25th and we're up on the hill today. We're finishing our uh, perimeter access trails. It started out kind of as like a poor man's plot type of scenario where we're just using chainsaws uh, to clear trees around the outside of the property, but we really needed to speed things up. So I rented a forestry mulcher and this thing has worked out really cool. Um, really speeds things up, makes a nice trail. Um, and then we're gonna come through with the tractor and rake it. And the reason for that is we're gonna be using these e-bikes this year. So I'm really excited for um, the change in how we're gonna hunt this property. Uh, so follow along and um, this season and see how this pans out for us. Well, thanks for watching Midwest Whitetail. Hey guys, welcome to Midwest Whitetail The East Show. We're, uh, we're out here practicing, doing a little practice shooting today and uh, getting really excited about the upcoming season here on October 1st in New York. So the home farm here hasn't been very good this year, honestly, but uh, we got a bunch of different permissions this year in a bunch of different counties and areas in New York that uh, I found some pretty, pretty nice bucks on. So the one deer we're gonna talk about is Lefty. He's just gnarly, just nice and wide and tall, just everything you could ask for in a New York buck. Really, really nice deer. So we're really looking forward to getting on him. Another buck we've been chasing this year, or been chasing for the last couple of years, is a deer I call Walt. He's a, he's a really big buck. Don't have any summertime video of him, don't have any pictures of him yet, but uh, I have a feeling he's still alive. So no telling, we thought he, we thought he was a four year old last year, so he could have absolutely blew up. He's a ways away from home, so it might be hard getting to during the week to hunt the spot. But uh, on the weekends, I'm looking forward to, for a little drive to go, go get after him. And then uh, another buck that we called the 23rd 10 because I always get a picture of him on the 23rd for the last three or four years. Picked up this permission a couple years ago and just like clockwork every year he's just there. So, you know, hopefully I can get on him this year. So those three bucks are gonna be the main targets for this year and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get on them. But the old Hoyt here is uh, shooting pretty good tonight. So we'll see what happens and uh, we'll be back with you. Well, good morning and welcome to Midwest Whitetail. My name's Tab Justice and it's September 5th here in Pennsylvania. We woke up to a beautiful cool morning. It was around 50 degrees here, which is unheard of for Labor Day weekend. And it's just a great morning. So this morning I'm gonna take a little time and I am going to do several things. One is uh, over our food plots that we planted hit back in July and August, I'm gonna go up and check the two cameras that I have there. One is in what we call the upper food plot. It's a little higher up the mountain. And the other one is at the redneck food plot, which literally overlooks where our redneck ghillie blind is. So I'm gonna go check those cameras and see what for deer we got coming in. As of the last couple of weeks, the increase of deer numbers that we have literally seen from my house has been phenomenal. And then it is September. It, we are literally a month away here from Pennsylvania season. So I'm going to take a few practice shots and hone in my, my bow, my Hoyt, and hopefully be ready for October 3rd when it comes in here in Pennsylvania. So you stick with us and see how this season works out. <laughs> 